So let's take a look at creating another Siri shortcut. I'm going to use my iPad for this so there's a little more screen space for you to see what I'm doing. And we're going to create a shortcut that's basically just like the old Magic 8 Ball, right? Where you just ask a yes or no question, you shake it, and you get a random answer. Well, we can learn a lot of useful techniques by building this as a Siri shortcut. So let's go into the Shortcuts app. If you don't have it with your iOS 12 install, go to the Mac App Store and get it. And we're going to actually create it using scripting here as opposed to all the other different ways of creating Siri shortcuts. So I'm going to create a new shortcut here. I'm in the library. I'm going to create shortcut. And now I'm going to start building this. So the first thing I want to do is keep it really simple. It should ask you, you know, to ask a question. So let's go and use the speak text action to have it ask you something. But before we do speak text, we need to have a piece of text just for it to speak. So I'm going to do a search here for the actions looking for text. And here is one called text which passes the specified text to the next action. So that's what we want. Basically we want to just set a piece of text. So we'll set it to uh, ask me a yes or no question. That's all. Now we want that to be spoken. Here's speak text. We put that there and we look at the parameters here. Wait until finished. Yeah, we want it to, you know, not go to the next thing until uh, it's finished. And there's a rate, pitch, and language. We'll have that set to default. Now we have something we can actually test. So if I run it, ask me a yes or no question. It just says ask me a yes or no question. Now, we want the next thing to do is for it to listen to us so we can listen to the question. So we're going to search for dictate here. There's dictate text. We'll drag that in here and we can choose a language. So I'll just choose English US. And stop listening. We can set it to after pause, after short pause, etc. After pause is good enough for this. So we use that. So this is now going to record the question we're going to ask it. Now we want it to generate an answer. And it's not just going to be yes or no. It could be all sorts of things, right? So we want to have a list of different answers. So let's look at list here. And here's one that allows you to specify a list. So I'll add that. And we have one, two, you know, as the examples. So let's change that to yes. Uh, we'll just make it look good here. Yes. Uh, no. Um, we'll do another one. Maybe. Let's continue doing another one. Uh, probably. Let's do probably not. Maybe a I have no idea. And you can continue to add as many as you want, really. Uh, and you could, uh, you know, attach some personality to it. So now we need to pick a random answer. So we're going to look for list and get item from list. And we can choose a random item to get from that list. Great. So it's going to get a random item from this list, which is exactly what we want. And now we want it to speak that. Speak text. So it's going to speak it and now we should have something that kind of works. Ask me a yes or no question. Probably not. Ask me a yes or no question. So now we got something that actually produces an answer. But let's go a little bit further than that. Let's have it record the actual answer. So we have kind of a record of what we're doing. So we'll learn a, little, a few more skills here. So what we can do is we can uh, put this in a file uh, using append to file. So we do append to file here and we can specify the file. So it's going to default to something in the shortcuts folder in iCloud Drive. And let's leave it at that and we'll call it, uh, let's see, magic answers.txt and we'll set it to append and make a new line. Now, the only problem with this is it's only going to append the answer. We want it to append the question and the answer. So, what we could do is we'll create another list here and the list here will include instead of the word one, we'll include a magic variable. And the magic variable will be the result of the text that you dictated. And then we will go ahead and 
put as item 2 a question mark. Why? Because we want to append a question mark at the end of this. So we append a question mark and then maybe a space. And then item 3 will actually be the answer which will also be a magic variable. Uh, and we'll go and we'll grab the item from the list here that it's gotten just before it's spoken. So now it's going to take the dictated text, a question mark, and it's going to uh, get the answer. And then we're going to put that together as a piece of text. So uh, um, combine, there's one called combine text. Put that here and we'll combine it and we'll separate it with uh, custom and nothing. So it's going to do the question, question mark, space, and then item from list. And then it's going to combine those and then append it to that file. So now we can have this all put together. We can go to settings here. We can uh, name this. Let's give it a name like just Magic 8 Ball or something. And now we can add it to the home screen. We can, uh, you know, uh, add to Siri so we can actually say, you know, uh, you know, have Siri say, you know, ask me a question or something like that. Let's go ahead and do that. So, um, play Magic Eight Ball, and we're done. So let's give this a try. Play Magic Eight Ball. Shortcut says, "Ask me a yes or no question." Should I buy a new MacBook this year? Probably. Now let's look in the Files app here and see whether or not it has saved the answer. And there I can see in my Shortcuts folder, I'm in iCloud Drive Shortcuts, there's the Magic Answers text file which is automatically created and there is a line with the question I asked and the answer. So it's going to keep a record of all the questions I've asked. So you can see a lot of different ways that you can go with this. right? You don't need to make it a game or just something that's just silly and, and gives you an answer. You can have it do all sorts of things using these same building blocks. Thank you.